Hello, so we are back. And this time, we have a gaming laptop. Okay, this is a nice one. I mean, it looks like a nice one, like i5, 9 gen. Uh, it's an Asus uh, TUF uh, gaming laptop. Now, the story with this one is interesting. So, this job come from my shop where I work, yeah? And uh, this was part of a job lot. Yeah, was the owner bought a job lot of laptops, and this was part of a job lot. And uh, he asked me, "Sorry, tell this to you and see if you can fix it." But I prefer for you to buy it. If you can buy it like faulty, it's fine for me. And I said, "You know what? This is a gaming laptop. You know, a gaming laptop. If I bought the laptop and has a shorter CPU or GPU, I, I have I, I, I can't do anything with the laptop." And I said, you know what, I'll take the laptop. If it's not a shorter GPU or shorter CPU, or let's say a shorter MOSFET, I think that's fair. I will buy it, yeah, for spares, for repairs, whatever. But after that, what I did, because he doesn't have the charger, yeah, so he doesn't have the charger, he didn't know about the laptop. So this uh, conversation, I have it after, after I got the laptop and there was a power supply. I just show you how you can figure it out if a, lop, uh, if a laptop has a shorted power rail or not. Yeah, that's very important because you can figure it out. What is the problem before you open the laptop? Okay, so uh, the ground it will be on a port, and that's the plus. And the Asus has a specific charger, and we don't have this charger, so he didn't test it. But I tested for him there. Yeah, so let's test it together. So we have the plus, we have the ground, we have 19, okay. I'm not sure if you can hear the power supply. It's clicking, you can hear that? You can't see the light of the... So basically, the clicking comes from the MOSFET cutting down the the power because the main power really shorted and after that i had a discussion with you said you know what i will test and uh, if it's not a short cpu or gpu i'll buy it okay so let's open this laptop and try to figure out what is the problem and if we can fix it that would be great I mean, what do you think? I mean, let's be honest. Yeah, let's be honest. You have a gaming laptop, yeah, and 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 you know before you open, you know it's it's a shorted main power rail. That's like ninety nine percent chances for uh, to have a shorted MOSFET. A shorted MOSFET most likely on the CPU or GPU, right? Let's be honest. But anyway, it will be fun, you know. Whatever it is, I'll tell him, you know, that's the problem with the laptop. And uh, it's nothing that you can do, even if you replace the, the shorted MOSFET. But you never know. You never know what's the problem. I mean, this is part of a job lot. Possible someone already tried to fix it or test it or whatever. I can't take out this screen. Okay, I did. But on the, on the other hand, I did see job lots, like, no one tried to fix them. This is an Asus TUF uh, FX505G. If you have this model. Okay, let's open the laptop and see. Plastic clips. Okay. Wow, look at this. Look at this. This is so nice. 
So check how the dust is sitting on the board. You see, this is dust, and this is something. This is a liquid damage job. Liquid damage here. Can be a liquid damage job, yeah. But it's nice how the, the dust is sitting there. You can see? Pretty interesting. But there is liquid damage. But otherwise on the board I can't see liquid damage. Okay, let's check the main power really. Let's unplug the battery. Let's unplug the battery. Uh, we have the multimeter on screen. But the, 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 the CPU screw is sealed. So uh, no one opened this board before, which is a good thing. That means no one tried to fix it. So we have the main power. And we can see here the capacitor and you can see the MOSFETs. And I really love it. You actually have normal MOSFETs, so we can replace them. So the main power rail on the capacitor, short, zero ohms. Exactly what I told you in the beginning. I mean, you can see the short from the input. Remember the clicking... Uh, the clicking power supply. Can you hear the click? Yeah. So that's how you figure it out. A laptop about what the problem is with a laptop before you open the laptop. Now we have a shorter main power rail, but you know what? We do have some liquid damage. I can't see liquid damage otherwise on the board. I mean, I can see dust. Even on the M2 drive, you can see it's dust. It's dust everywhere. But that's not a reason for the laptop to be shorted. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, check out the dust. A lot of dust here. And uh, you know what? It is possible. You know what? We can be lucky. So it is possible here to be just a shorted capacitor. Because the liquid damage is exactly on the capacitor, as you can see. I mean, it's on that chip. It's on this chip, which uh, it's a driver, same like this one. Oh, that's bad if it's a driver, yeah? It is bad. Now, let's clean it quickly. And uh, see what we can do here. We can uh, figure it out what's the problem. Let me grab some alcohol. Okay, it is clean. Let's dry it. So one of those capacitors are shorted. Is shorted. Do you think? And try to get rid of the reflections. Uh, okay, let's grab. No, it looks fine. I, I was looking on the on the board. But it looks fine, a lot of dust. But otherwise it looks fine, so that's the seal. Looks okay. You know what, let's try something. Let's try something quickly, yeah? So what I will do, I'll come with the thermal camera. Let me grab the thermal camera. I will uh, comb with some current. Yeah. Let's switch the power supply down. To whatever around 2 amps let's see the short resistance so here we have 0 0.06 0 0.03 okay so the resistance is quite low very possible to be a capacitor yeah so I'll raise the current 1 volt okay that should be fine so raising the current I can't show you the cable, the cable from the screen. So you see around, around the fan? Yeah, that's the cable. That's the screen cable. Look. That's the screen cable. 
Okay, that's bad. So after we remove the cable from the screen, we have no short on the on the power rail. You can see here. So here is no short. Here is short because it's ground. But here is no short. If I plug back the 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 screen uh, ribbon cable, yeah, plug back the cable. Let me lower the current. Short, yeah. So just have a look on the screen. Yeah, 800 milliamps. Taking the screen out. And it's not short anymore. So the cable is shorted? Probably not. I believe something on the screen side is shorted. But you know what? Let's see if the laptop is coming on. This will be interesting. Without the screen, I mean, without the screen, the laptop is coming on. So we need ground. A ground. We need 19 volts. Yeah, a lot of current. Plus. Let's press the power button. Okay, that's the power button. Pressing the power button. I'm doing something wrong. Pressing the power button and it's not reacting. Oh, oh, oh. I believe it's a little bit too much, 40 milliamps. Something there, I don't know what it is. The cable from the keyboard. Yeah, that was the cable from the keyboard, it was taking forty milliamps. Why? Okay, that's weird. So I took the keyboard out and it's not taking power anymore. Let's try to power on. I can't because the power on switch is on the keyboard. Right? Yeah, pressing the power, nothing happened. So let me get this straight. So the liquid damage was on the keyboard. And the liquid damage actually killed the killed the key killed the keyboard, yeah? One second, I have 10 volts. Let's find the power on the pin. Okay, the laptop is charging fine. One amp, two amps. What is coming on? Not coming on. Four point five amps and the laptop start. That's good. The fan are spinning, but obviously the cable it's out. Keyboard is that I can't even switch it off. Probably is damaged by uh, by the liquid uh, liquid damage. Okay, so the laptop is working clearly. Yeah.
uh, I don't understand what is shorted on the screen cable, yeah? You know, very possible you can face this. So, okay, the laptop is starting without the keyboard and without the screen. Yeah. Uh, the fans are spinning, we can see. Obviously, there's no picture on the screen because the screen is... The power supply is getting disconnected, but it's still running on the battery. So, uh, we have kind of... Uh, I unplug the battery. Uh, we have to find the short on the screen. Yeah, clearly, the, the screen is shorted. And the short is not here. You remember the whole cable was getting warm, yeah? So it's not like it's here. It's somewhere uh, on the screen side, yeah? And I'm not sure if we can open this. Can I open the screen? Okay, so we took the front bezel out. Now, the most important test right now is to see if here the cable is getting hot. So what I will do, I will plug the cable, the battery is unplugged, good. I will plug the cable and I will come with the power from the power supply, low power, yeah. And a uh, few amps. Now let's see. Yeah, it's still short. Let's see. Uh, where the cable is getting hot. It's going to the screen or not. Because I'm curious. It depends what we, we, are, we will be seeing now. We know if it's from the screen or is the cable itself. Okay, so let me yeah, power on. Okay, let's raise the voltage. And we have like two amps, which is fine. And the cable, you can see the cable is getting warm. Yeah. So I believe the short, it's inside of the screen. You can see the cable there. Yeah. So the short is inside of the screen. Inside. I mean on the on the screen board. Yeah. And that's the screen. And we can see liquid damage there. You can see it? Let's check here. We can see some liquid damage. Wow. I mean, this was never open here, this sticky thingy. Check the screen. Check the screen connector. Check the check the cable here. You can see. You can see the cable. Okay. Let's try something simple. Okay. Let's try something basic because uh, you know it's 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 can be, it's feel like I'm cheating and. Uh, uh, let's see if the laptop has a picture on the screen. And if it has a picture on the screen, I will uh, speak with the guy with the laptop here, yeah, with the owner, and uh, ask him for a price if you want to sell it as faulty. But clearly here we have a broken screen. Probably the screen is burned. Can I do some tricks? Yeah, we can. And let's see if you, can, if you want to fix it or sell it or whatever. Now depends what he want to do, fix it or sell it. 
we can decide after. But I, I need to see if we have picture on the screen. That's what I need to see. So you can see on the cable are four wires here. So probably those four wires are carrying 19 volts, yeah? Now, what are we going to do? We're going to plug the screen, yeah? And we'll be coming with 19 volts straight on the screen, yeah? So uh, this, the, the, this is for the backlight circuit, yeah? So for the backlight, no, the screen is looking fine otherwise. There's no even point opening, yeah? The screen is looking fine. So if the screen, uh, if we have, uh, if we have picture on the screen, then we can uh, move uh, forward, yeah? So let me plug the, oh, wait, wait. I cannot plug the connector because it's shorted, right? It is shorted or not? Let's see. No, not anymore. No, it's not shorted anymore. It's not shorted anymore, yeah? So let me let me check if we have picture on the screen. Even without the backlight, yeah? Even without the backlight. Let's see if we have picture, yeah? Let me check the main power L one more time. And it is shorted. Wow. No, we cannot check. This need another uh, screen ribbon cable and screen. Hmm? Okay, let's do a trick. Like usual, we are doing a lot of tricks, yeah? But the trick we are doing today is... Yeah, we've done this before. Remember, this is my favorite trick. My favorite trick. So let's see what we have. What is this black wire first one, yeah? First is, first is the ground or is just a burn wire? What is this? Can be the ground. Can be the ground. Okay, let me check on the other side. Actually, no. Actually, no. Give me a second. Let's check the, the board. So we have... Those are not together. These together, together, together. Four pins together and this. What is this? I, I don't think this is connected. No, this is not connected. Let me switch to diode. No, this is not connected. Okay. So somehow the black one is not connected. Probably that's the reason why the wire didn't get burned in the first one. So let's cut down. Let's cut down the plus. So what do we have here? Four wires. Good. Hopefully those are no shielded wires, hopefully. Okay, so we remove the 19 volts power rail from the connector. Now let's plug back the connector. Okay, so the connector is plugged back. Now let's check the short on the other side of the board. And it's not short anymore, okay? So let's plug the battery back. I just want to see if we've seen any picture on the screen. Do we have picture? So I plug back the... I plug back the battery. Ground. Plus. 
Now I can start this board without the keyboard. Well, the keyboard is shorted because if I play with the connector, it will start on some point. And the laptop is on. Yeah, I can see it there. It's a window. It's uh, something on the screen. You can see it? So clearly, yeah, restart the windows. You can see here too. You can't see. No, you can't see. Uh, you can see some squares here. So we do have the... We do have the... We, we, we have the picture. We should fix it or not? I mean, what do we need here? What, what you will buy? Yeah, what you will buy? You will buy... The, the keyboard is gone, yeah, clearly. You'll buy the keyboard. You'll buy the screen ribbon cable and you'll buy another screen, right? That's what you'll buy. Yeah, let's fix that without these things, yeah. I don't know about the keyboard, but I believe we can trick the screen, yeah? Let's trick the screen. Let's do a dodgy job here. Can we do something dodgy here? So the battery is unplugged, right? Right. Okay. So what we can do here? Uh, what we can do here? What kind of dodgy job we can do here? Let's see if the if the main power rail is, it is shorted on the on the on the screen. It is. It's shorted to ground. Yeah. So we cannot use this. We cannot use this. So this part is dead. So what I will gonna do? What I'm gonna do? I will go and buy a new screen. I'm joking. <laughs> okay, let's do it like that. Yeah. Uh, okay, we can see clearly what's going on there. So let's cut this. We have four trucks here. We all four are gone, right? Yeah. So all four are gone. Now let's check this to ground. Yeah, so now it's not shorted. You can see? So this is not shorted. If it's not shorted, yeah, it's not shorted. Okay, if it's not shorted, then we can come with the wires, right? We can come with those wires and solder the wires there and we will have a working screen, right? I mean, let's be honest, what you will do on this case? Ordinary ribbon cable and the uh, screen, yeah? Mm, I know. Maybe I'm too dodgy. Maybe, just maybe. Okay, let's use some flux. But I'm sorry, it's pointless. It's a waste of money. I mean, I can only solder those wires and it will be fine. I cannot buy another screen and cable. I'm sorry, I can't do it. I can't. 
I can't do it. I have to be forced. So you want to raise me over 150 pounds, or at least over 100, just because, why? We can solder four wires, and we don't even need four wires. Look, we don't even need four. We need one wire. And that's all. We'll be doing the customer a favor, yeah? We are soldering one wire, probably the wire, it will get warm. And it will warm up the house, you know. This is an improvement. We have a laptop and a heater. Together. Well, no, I'm serious. You'll be fine even with one wire. You know, how much current do you think you have here? A few hundred millions. You know what? We can do it after. I just want to see the backlight. And I can do it later. Let me check one more time for the for short. And no, it's not short. Now let's see if we have backlight or not. Because very possible the screen to be damaged. And if the screen is damaged by liquid, we are way, we are working for nothing. You know what I mean? We are doing pointless work because we need another screen anyway. Yeah. So plus, and we have to short some pin here. Now we have to connect the battery, right? Yeah. And the laptop is starting. Okay, that's good. So the laptop is charging. Let's show you power on. And the laptop start, and we have picture and backlight. We have picture and backlight. Let's see the screen. It's dodgy. You can have spots on the screen, you know, the marks from water damage. Yes, yeah, skip. Uh, no, I don't have keyboard. We have to wait. Let's see, I just want to see the picture on the screen. Uh, yeah, it's fine. It's not liquid damage. Let's plug the keyboard. You know, I'm curious what will happen because the keyboard is not working clearly. Yeah, he's typing himself, you can see. Actually shut down. Yeah, the keyboard is gone. Okay, so I'll stop here. Yeah, because uh, looks like the board, the board is good. Okay, the board is good, but need a keyboard. And this keyboard is not cheap. Yeah. I don't think it's cheap, this keyboard. I will check, but I don't think it's cheap. So this laptop needs a keyboard. Need a screen and uh, reboot cable? No, probably not. I mean, the, I, will not, I can't do it. Even if, if, even if it's for myself, I will speak. If you want to sell it for spares, 
I will solder the wires on the screen and it's end of story. If he want to fix it, to sell it, I will solder the wires and the same end of story. I will not order a screen and screen ribbon cables. Sorry. It's just a wire, you know, it's the 19 volts power rail. Yeah, the connector is blow up. I'm pretty sure it will be fine, yeah. So, uh, the cost of this repair, probably it's only the keyboard, right? Right. Okay, anyway, I will see. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I will say thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And uh, see you on the next one. Bye.